Hey Ken, great talking with you on the last video. We, we learned a lot of cool things, but you know, with the GoBox Studio every once in a while when I'm streaming or recording content, my camera freezes. Like I'm still trying to find out what the solution is. Have you figured out what we can do? So this is a, a rare thing and it has to do with how the software is set up with uh, the hardware that we chose. So we are, most of the go boxes are using something called the Elgato cam link, the 4k, right? And it's processing a whole bunch of data, but at the same time, it's doing this funny thing where it's trying to communicate back and forth with certain cameras. And the cameras that we provide, they don't need to go back and forth. They just need the data to go one way. So we need to mm -hmm. flip a switch. That's going to stop it from trying to process too much data at once, which sometimes make it freeze up. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what's going on. And But it's a really easy okay. fix. Sweet. So what's the fix? Is it, can anybody do this? You know, it's so easy. It's And it's actually in the setup manual. But I know that if you're watching this, you're probably a busy business owner and you didn't have time to do that. So we're not going to waffle about talking too much. Let's just show you how to do it. So All below right. this video, there should be a link, and it's going to take you to elgato.com. I'm going to go see I'm in Japan right now, so showing the Japanese site, but at least it's in English. Let's go to the download section, and then in the download section, we're going to go straight to Camlink 4K. Camlink 4K, yep. That's right. And right now I'm in the Mac section, but it's very similar on the PC. Mm -hmm. So this is the actual software we're looking for. It's called Camera Hub, right? And we just want to download this file and install it. So I'm just going to hit download. I'm going to skip that, go straight to the downloads. Now I've already got this installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But the as soon as it's installed, here's what's going to happen. You're going to see up here, you're going to see this little icon that looks like, what does that look like? It looks like a soap bar <laughs> with mm. a circle in it. So it's look like a webcam. And let's click, click that and hit configure camera hub. All right. And as you can see, there is a Asian dude in my screen. This part is so stupid simple. Now, there's these three sliders. And if you click that, there's only one option that says restore factory defaults. But what you want to do is hold down the command key as you click it. And now we get this additional drop down menu. Now, you see right here, by default, when you get it, it's probably going to say automatic. And what that yes. means is the software is trying to work too hard. It's trying to push too much data both ways, and it causes things to freeze up. But if you switch to isochronous, then apparently that does the trick and it tells it to stop working so hard. It uses half the power, half the CPU and or, or the processing chips, and then it stops freezing. So that's all you got to do. And then you close that up. And what you want to do is make sure that it's running when it starts. That's all. So if that's running and you've got that configured, remember, you got to hold down command on your keyboard. If you don't hold down command, you don't get this option, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to click that again without holding. You're going to be like, hey, where to go? Go back. Hold down command as you click that, switch to isochronous, and you're good to go. It's that simple. That's definitely very simple. And I like how quickly I can change the setting on my computer so, so that video is not freezing anymore. And I can do those long live streams that I love to do. We're going to do one more video where we're going to talk about sometimes when it is actually a heat issue and how to deal with that.